Caissons are interesting in that much of the information comes from written documentation as opposed to graphic display, like a floor plan or structural slab would be. An engineer will give a location and diameter of the caisson along with rebar configuration. And the soils report or other documentation may provide best guess as to actual length or depth of the caisson. To estimate them using a digitized length would be impractical. To estimate them by horizontal surface area would also not be a functional procedure. Therefore, I have settled on the count basis to estimate the materials for caissons. So how would this work? Using the caisson estimating extension tool from the item assignment toolbar, we count one caisson. Using the text annotation tool, we add a set of notes that quickly and graphically describe the caisson. This can be edited or added to later. Let's enter the information for the caisson. The diameter in inches, the height of the caisson in feet, whether or not there is a pile cap or other structure on top because this adds rebar parts that can be what placed in the info for that connection. Choose the vertical rebar size and enter the count stirrup size and spacing the optional dowel material length stirrup count rebar quantities and the concrete yardage are then displayed it now becomes a simple task of copying this counted item with its description to each of the other locations. We'll make some changes to the lengths on two of these caissons. Both in the notes and in the quantity list also. We'll change to the Excel file for this project. Go to the case on area to view the estimating data. We can change the quantities of one of the caissons in e-takeoff, changing the vertical rebar in this particular case to number 14, leaving the other information as is. 
do a refresh in Excel and the updated information is displayed just that easy. If you have questions regarding this or any other capability of this software, please contact me.